to another episode of My Point. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of My Point Three Garage. I am Chris, and I'm Mandy. And we got a new package. Another package. Another package. We got another package from Ford. Uh, only this time, much like everything else that we get, the Amazon guy uh, tosses it to our Huskies out in the front yard and says, here's a play toy. And then the Huskies chewed into it. But luckily, when they got to the gift, they, didn't touch uh, it. they decided that they were going to have mercy on us because we're probably not going to be able to get another one. So anyway, uh, they sent us a hammock. And I think you've seen these before. I think they're already on eBay. People are selling them on eBay. Uh, so... Oh, which is fine. I mean, if you can make money on them, that's fine. I don't, I don't know that, you know, we care to do that, but uh, it's, it's kind of a fun thing. I mean, looking at it, we own a lot of hammocks, and this particular one looks very similar to most of them that we have. Uh, the interesting thing about this hammock, though, is that it's got a lot of sponsorship on it. So if you look at it, you have Wild Horses is on there. I don't see any other brands. Too lightly. No. Oh, is that a brand? No, it's not a brand. So the question is, is, is Wild Horses sponsoring, helping sponsor this? That would be cool if that was the case. But in any case, there's a lot of branding on it. It comes with a little, uh, little note from Ford here. And the note from Ford says, just relax. Your Bronco is coming. <laughs> I feel better already. No, that's not what it says. <laughs> that's what we thought it would say. <laughs> It just, it gives actually, you've got tech specs on the actual hammock. So similar to the uh, Bronco, it has tech specs. So for instance, it has a 400 pound weight capacity. Uh, it comes with two carabiners. Additional uses, it says picnic or gear prep ground strap, a sunshade wing, which we hadn't thought of, and above ground gear storage. So if you, uh, this could be our new bear bag because we have bear bags that we use yeah. here in Colorado. So we'll try this as a bear bag and see if the bears can get into it. I, I don't think it's strong <laughs> to hold out a bear though. You know it'd be fun, put down in the comments some things that Ford should put in the brochure as additional uses for this hammock. And then it's uh, one pound, apparently. Yeah, that's fun. It's got a lot of uh, you know branding on it and a lot of pictures. There's a, a dude in the snow. Is it in the snow? Yeah, a dude in the snow in his hammock. So it looks like we're gonna have fun with this. Uh, it comes with, usually these are usually come with straps. These come with straps as well. So they've got two looped ends on them. But Ford, if you decide to go forward with having hammocks like this, you're better off, you can actually daisy chain these. So each one of these has a loop and then another loop and then another loop like that. It's really easy to make. But then what happens is you have an adjustable hammock. So you can actually adjust them based on the size of the person and also how long the strap's gonna be. So just from a hammock tech nerd, uh, <laughs> that is a piece of advice there. And then uh, let's open up the hammock and see what it looks like. So the hammock is sewn into it, so good job there. That way you don't lose the bag. And then, oddly enough, no branding. it doesn't have any branding on it. <laughs> I thought for sure when you open this up, it would have uh, branding well, everything that on it, or maybe like a giant, like if you had like a Bronco. giant grill there or something like that, or a Bronco, that would be cool. Regardless, it's a, a good thought. Uh, we appreciate it, Ford. Thank you very much. We are not going to put it on eBay. Uh, we might give it away. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. We're definitely going to try it right now and see if it holds up better than the hardtop. All right, let's go. <laughs> For those of you who are unfamiliar with how to rig your new Bronco hammock, you first buy a 1973 Bronco and take the frame out from underneath the cab, put in the extension handle from a jack into your body mount hole, and then you're going to rig that down to your Raptor, and you're going to, I always wondered what this was, this right here uh, and now I know it is actually a hammock uh, pillar to tie off your hammock to so there you go and then the only other thing you need is a test subject <laughs> like a 10 year old girl works perfect and uh, to make sure that it doesn't break with you in it you test first with a 
70 pound child. Hey! And that works out just fine. When you're done with that, you swing it. No! Please! No! That bar's <laughs> gonna come undone, Dad. Are you kidding me? I rigged that. How can that, how can that possibly fall? <laughs>